morning, the next 20 to 40 minutes is an injurious waste of your time. Warning, the next 20 to 40 minutes is an injurious waste of your time. Yeah, good morning. I'll take a medium with two sugar and a medium regular, please. Morning, DDT. Duffy, how are you, bud? Pretty good. Got you your medium with two sugar. Medium with two sugar coffee. Thank you very much for you're, it. You're welcome. Did you notice anything missing from your cup? Uh, the little sticker? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah I that you always keep? And I do that not just because I like to collect them and get free coffee every now and then, but then I know which one is yours when I get out of the truck. I just look and oh, oh, you, you leave the yours? one with no stickers not, for you. Not the fact that they actually put on the uh, the cup what what your order is? Well, then you have to read that. Oh, okay. Like, okay. No, no so I just a, like to keep it simple, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I spent another four bucks this morning on you. Well, then, well I appreciate uh, it. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. So, so how's the summer? The summer is going good. I know we uh, we said we'd do another special, but it just, just summer's been flying by, and it's been hard to find the time. That's right. It's yeah. Been, so, been but good though, but we're doing it. This is our mm-hmm. second summer special. Yeah, we did one in July, one in August. That works. Yeah, exactly. I've been asked when we were going to do it by uh, by our couple of listeners. Jeez, the listener feedback is full. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to those later, but I think yeah. we each picked two good questions from the listeners, eh? Yeah, 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 we did. Or did you? <laughs> I picked two. You were I, supposed to pick your own oh, two. Oh, I, I was? That's fine. Two's enough. We, yeah, got, two, a lot we got a to lot to talk about. about. Yeah, yeah, a lot to talk about. Yeah. I didn't get any from... Uh, maybe you got some from our friends in Eastern Europe. I picked one that I understood. Okay. And yeah, so one of them is from Eastern Europe and the other one is from Brockville. So Oh Brockville, okay, yeah. cool. The Brockville. Eastern Europe of Ontario. Exactly. Yeah. Eastern Europe of Ontario. The there Brock the Brock Vegas. Why don't we throw one of those out right now? Oh, so you want to do it or you just want to like do like do wanna wait? Well, I Because we got other things we can talk about. Let's get one out of the way. Right okay, now. we'll do one. Well let's okay. do one listener feedback question. Okay. Is this one from Brock Vegas or is this one from the Eastern Block? Delano in Brock Vegas. Delano in Brock Vegas. What's with BJ? Or is it JB? Why is he always so busy to do coffee? <laughs> now obviously BJ should be answering that. Yeah. But what do you think is the real reason why he yeah. makes yeah. makes us a priority, I'd say, one weekend out of maybe 60 or 70? Yeah. Every couple of years, he'll yeah. stop by? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I mean, he seems to be a very busy guy on the weekend mornings. Well, He's, he sent us a picture this morning of a paintbrush. Yeah, yeah painting. Painting something. Yeah, it was, it was hard to tell. It was a wall or something? I don't know. Well... A, is it him? Is it him? Yeah. It's probably him. He didn't talk. It might be anything. his wife. Uh, it could, could be his be. wife. Yeah. Yeah, I know he was renovating his master bathroom, which has been a project for I'm like the last six months. Six years. Six years? Yeah. Yeah. He's been doing that for a long time. He's busy. Anyway. Mind you, he was off all week. I think he this was, was off his all week. holiday week, so. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess we know where we stand on the priority. Yeah, he's not. We're not very scale. high up on his priority That's list. That's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'd say, I guess the quick answer there, Delano, is uh, he's a busy boy. Delano. He's a family man, and uh, he finds his coffee fix uh, himself. alternatively. Yeah. 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 Well, alone by himself. Alone by himself. We'd love to have him, but for whatever reasons, yeah, he's not here. And, and that was whether it's BJ or JB, we'll continue to let you, the listener, figure that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll leave that one with you guys for now. Yeah. All right. So well, yeah, that's a good we'll question. Save our other questions and save the other questions. get into the, the meat and potatoes. Yeah. So you asked how the summer was going. I mean, yeah. for me, it's it's actually been, uh, I love, I've been loving the weather. Like, yes. For, for those of you who don't know, uh, here in eastern Ontario, we've been getting 40 degree humidity weather mm. for the last two weeks. Which in is, late August. In late August, yeah, yeah, which is great because I have a pool. Mm-hmm. I know first world problems. So I have a pool, above ground pool, so it's poor man's, poor it's man's still pool. Nice. It's a nice pool. But it's still nice, yeah. Still a pool, 18 footer. And uh, the water has been fantastic. You don't have a heater because it's, the heaters are massively expensive. You're too cheap for it. And I'm way too cheap to put in a... And you don't need a heater. I don't no. think you need a heater. 
You don't want to swim in a hot tub. You want to get refreshed. Well, I, my ideal temperature for the water is between 80 and 85. So anytime our, wow. our, our pool... That's like 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's about, uh, <laughs> is about 85, 30. Yeah. That's like a hot tub. Uh, well, no. <laughs> anytime it gets... like Actually, I, let me revise that a bit. I would say the ideal temperature is from like 78. Yeah, okay. And up. Yeah, I agree. Like, no. But... This past week, it did reach about 84 or 85. Sure. With this heat. Wow. And so, you know, I would come home from work and I would jump in the pool with my son, my young nice. son. And we spend an hour or two in the pool in Fun. the evening. It nice. was fantastic. Yeah. But with the heat and humidity and the usage of the pool, yeah, the water level tends to slowly... Oh diminish in the pool. I know where this story is going. Yeah. This is a great story. I forgot about this. Yeah. The listener, you're going to be amazed. Yeah. And by the way, we should mention that we're in the garage cave, my yeah. garage cave today. We're shooting from the garage. Yeah. We're in the, where the two yeah. bikes are. Where there is no water overflowing. No, anywhere. exactly. Yeah. So anyway, to continue on, so the pool, yeah, it diminishes, you know, evaporates and then, you know, people splashing about, goes out of yeah. the pool or whatever. So, you know, I've got to be cognizant of the level of the pool water that doesn't go below the pump skimmer. That's right. Or else it's not pumping and it's making the pump work for nothing mm. below the pump. So I noticed the water level getting a bit low, getting to the minimum line. So I thought, oh, I'm going to put the hose in and, uh, you know, not fill it back up. I, I like to keep it between the, the halfway between, usually between the min and the max. Sure. A third to a halfway between them. Makes sense. So I put the pump hose one night in. And I'm like, okay, I'll just leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. Because it will normally take 10 to 15 minutes to get it to the level you desire. Exactly. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I'll leave it on there for them. So I go back inside the house. I get, <laughs> I get busy <laughs> doing other things. Yeah. It happens. At 11, 11.30, no, more light, later than that. It was like midnight. Yeah. Uh, You're I'm getting still ready up. for bed. I'm getting ready for bed, and I'm now, hearing... Now, we're not blaming this on the bourbon in any way. No, I did not have a drink of bourbon. Oh, way. I thought you had a bit of bourbon. Did I? During this, I'm sure you did. Maybe I did. I can't recall. Was it nighttime? It was nighttime. Then you had bourbon. Probably did. So anyway, uh, I hear, I'm hear. i hearing this buzzing noise. Yeah. Right? I'm sitting on the couch. I'm hearing this noise. I'm like, what the heck's that noise? I go to the backyard... Can't hear anything in the backyard. Somebody working this late on the <laughs> is house. Is neighbor somewhere? cutting the grass? Yeah. Is the neighbor yeah. doing something? Don't see anything outside. I go back to sitting down. Still hearing it. I'm like, this is driving me nuts now. So I get up and try the whole thing again. I'm like, where's that coming from? Sounds like it's coming from underneath where I am. Yeah. Sure enough, I go in the basement by our oh, furnace. Yeah. There's the the, the outlet for the water outside. Yeah. yeah. And I you hear know it. Right away. I know right away. <laughs> I can still run it. Oh. Three and a half hours later. Oh, God. I bolt outside. And of course, it's above the max line, yeah. but it's spewing out the pump skimmer. Yeah. All yeah. over the place, fortunately, because it didn't overflow the top the of the entire pool. pool. Yeah. yeah. So, the but still, you're talking like. 10 inches of extra water. Yeah, basically okay. at that point. Like a foot of extra water yeah. over an area the size of an 18 foot pool. Exactly. Yeah. So, but not Alan only. Alan Hoobly, what the hell are you charging us for water? Yeah. Okay. So, but not only that, oh. now I got to, I shut off the water. Now I got, because it's way over. Yeah. I got to pump it out. Yeah. Oh. All that water, I got to pump it out to where my level is. Back out. Yeah. So now I got, it's like past midnight now. And Don't I tell me the... you started pumping, fell asleep, and woke up, and the pool was empty. No, no, oh, unfortunately, okay. no. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> that would be even funnier. So I pump it out, and now I'm waiting to hear, see what my water bill is going to be oh, like. Oh, God. Because I ran it for three and a half hours. Jeez. So first world problems, I know. But it's People just... People don't realize, you know, the regular folk that don't have luxuries like pools and cottages and boats i don't think they get i think they see the fun part of it all, yeah. right yeah like when we had a boat yeah i mean people loved going boating with us and yeah. they thought oh i wish i had a boat and blah 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 and i got rid of that damn boat because it wasn't fun at yeah. the end like it was stressful yeah 
once you're in the boat on the water, there's nothing like it. Yeah, for sure. It is a blast and it is one of the more fun leisure activities that exist in yeah. a Canadian summer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if that boat is sitting on a trailer, I'm sorry, I just totally hijacked your story. No, no, no. But you're pretty it. much done. I'm yeah, just I'm trying done. to give a yeah. parallel here. Yeah, exactly. When that boat's sitting on your trailer in your laneway, yeah. and all you see are the dollars floating away <laughs> exactly. that you've paid for insurance and registration and tune you know, up and gas, all that stuff. Yeah. And then you get it. I remember, I think I did the math one year when yeah. I was starting to justify having it. Yeah. And it was like the first time we got that boat on the water and enjoyed it for three hours. It was like, you know, 500 bucks an hour for that oh, outing. Yeah. Obviously it just gets distributed then over yeah. the rest of the summer. Yeah. But if you don't get that boat out on the water, let's say oh, yeah. 10 or 20 times, then you're looking at an activity that costs way more than like a family ski trip or something. Yeah. So, and that's not to mention, remembering all the stupid things, this is what got me thinking about it when you forgot about the water. You put that boat in the water, you better have the straps off this trailer, the plug in, mm. like all these different things set up. And then when you bring it in, you got to have the motor up. Like I couldn't yeah. tell you how many times I dragged that motor, the propeller part <laughs> up the gravel of a ramp because you forget to bring that up. Yeah. Just little things, right? <laughs> exactly. And then you get it up, you take someone out for the day and then you get back in and they're like, hey, great, thanks, see you. And you're like, yeah, great day. And then you're like, oh, you got another pull half it hour, out. 45 yeah. minutes. To, pull it yeah. out, strap it on. Exactly. Oh exactly. God! Anyways, well, it's like the pool, right? The pool yeah. is like is is great to have, especially yeah. when it's hot like this in the summer. Yeah. And you know, the kids, like my younger son, has been using it with yeah. his buddies, so that's that's been great. And uh, but the thing is, like, there's the chemicals that go into it every oh. day. Like I'm pretty much there. Like I did buy a timer for the pump, which you're helped. Your, you're your own pool boy. Basically, yeah. yeah. So I'm cleaning it out, like I'm I'm yeah. making sure the chemicals are up, the you uh, know, putting the chemicals in, yeah. and stuff like that. And then, like I said, putting filling it up and yeah. forgetting about it, yeah, paying um, extra water bills, all that. Exactly. Huh. So going you know, to the pool store, getting a part that they don't have. That's remember, right. Remember yeah. that from oh, the summer? Well, yeah, like the pool, oh. the blanket, like the, the blanket. solar cover. I needed a new solar cover. Yeah. So I call up the pool store. We won't mention which one because it pissed me off. That's right. They said, yeah, we got two of them. I said, okay, I'm coming. I get there. They're like, oh, yeah, we have two, but they're reserved. <laughs> like, you couldn't tell me that on the phone before I, I went there? <laughs> you know? I hear you. Yeah, hear so you. then they were. Yeah. They had a good price on them, too. There was like 80 or 85 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I need one today because, I, yeah. I mean. I, it's getting cold tonight. I want it today. Well, it's just like, I'm our, I'm. This is the plan for today. I'm yeah. going to go get a pool cover, Not like a solar blanket. You've invested your time to deal with this. You know? And yeah. they're like, well, maybe Monday we'll see. And yeah. it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Gee, yeah. Like, what if it doesn't? And so I'm like, screw it. I, I called another store. I went. It was yeah. $20 more expensive. Yeah. But anyway, it's on there. No, I And hear. then they call me on Monday and say, oh, yeah, it's available. <laughs> it's like, no. you guys are, no. you know. No, no, thanks. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's more work than... Yeah. Well, it's, it's more than more what people money. see. It's yeah, more, more than, than what people yeah. see. Yeah. And when my kids get going on, why don't we have a pool? I'm like, you know why? And I don't get into all that. I just say, because almost everyone we know has a freaking pool. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. If we want to go swimming. We've got people we can go hey, swimming. Hey, listen, I've invited you over. I know. That, <laughs> and again, that Numerous shows. times. Yeah. So when you invite me, I mentioned that the kids are like, ah. Yeah. Nobody's jumping on going in the pool. So I'm like, why yeah. the hell would we get a pool? Yeah, exactly. If you guys barely want to go even use a pool. Yeah. And then you informed yeah. me that uh, you swim naked. So <laughs> nude. Up oh, my sorry. <laughs> nude. You swim nude. nude. Yeah. So then I might think twice about inviting you next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if nobody's watching. It's only if nobody's oh, watching. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, all by myself. I'll close my eyes. And then. little do you know that, yeah, maybe I, I do that as it is and I don't need an invitation. <laughs> oh, you just yeah. come by my house. Well, Three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody's around. <laughs> yeah. So that's what that noise was. Yeah. 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 Well, that's why the cover was off the pool when I, went. I, mean, I thought I'd put it off. Did I not put the cover on? No, you forgot. Okay. Yeah. Well, if anyone's still listening after that <laughs> fascinating pool story, yeah. uh, there's an election happening in this country. Oh. Right? 
Yeah. You don't have your purple PPC sign out yet, I see. I, I, even though I am a member of the People's Party of Canada, <laughs> my five bucks got me a year membership. What does the party do with the $85 it has raised from all its members? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, why somebody <laughs> buy Max lunch, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Take Max to Wendy's. Take Max to, and, his, and his entourage to oh Wendy's? I don't know. <laughs> well, good for you. Hey, at least you you've you've you pick someone. You're standing behind them. Well, it doesn't mean I'm gonna vote. As, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You haven't locked in a vote yet. I have not locked in a vote. Yeah. Usually, my voting habit is I like to vote for everybody. At least once, or all oh, at no, the same I'll, time. No, all at the same time. Oh, nice. Yeah. I go in there and I'm like, hmm, this guy, this woman, this well, guy, this woman, this if guy. If you pull that off this year, it'll only help your buddy Justin, that's for sure. Oh. That kind of a strategy. Yeah. I, that's why I was saying to you earlier, before the podcast, yeah. was like, I'm not sure. Maybe this time I'll actually uh, not spoil the ballot. No, we still haven't done as our pre podcast podcast. I'm going to we secretly, could have done the I'm going to secretly record us sometime okay. and just see how it goes. Okay, you'll probably don't, don't tell me. You'll probably complain about the quality of it or something, but I would complain, but I mean it's a secret. That would be recording. the best for the listener though. It's yeah. truly unknown yeah. pre podcast podcast. We'd have to would I have to beep a lot of stuff though. Probably today because we were talking politics. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I mean this time around I might actually uh, not spoil the ballot. Yeah. I don't, even, I don't even know why I brought that up because I really don't want to talk about it to the no, listener, but no. I just want to say an election is coming up. Maybe in September, maybe we have an election special or something right before. <laughs> or how about the night of the election? Oh, We sit down. Can we do live on Podbean? We do speak? it just like they do on, on TV. Can we know? do it? Talk about the ridings yeah. and, make pro- and we'll make our own projection. Can we? Like 30 seconds into the broadcast, <laughs> we're going to say... This just in, we're projecting a Max Bernier uh, majority. No, a Max Bernier loss. <laughs> okay. We could totally, I predict that right now. Can we do live on Pabinski? We totally can. can. can Remember, I, I ran a couple lives. Remember, oh, well, you guys that... were trying to call in? How about we just plan to do a live election night podcast? Yeah. Oh, that's, Although that's, that's uh, my daughter's birthday. My on birthday. the election night? Yeah, September 20th. Okay. What day is well, it? depending on what you're doing, then you're well, not going to party all night. No, that's true. The election only gets interesting probably around eight or nine. Nine. Once the polls yeah. in the west, so we'd have to be up to like. Well, no, we'll call the election at nine, and then yeah, we'll call. It, well, we'll call it whenever we want to call it. Yeah. And uh, we do like thirty minutes, half an hour, yeah. forty minutes. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we do it live from Moe's. Ooh. <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. so Moe's yeah. or Moatala, yeah. who is a local restaurateur and yeah. philanthropist mm-hmm. here in the capital city of Canada, Ottawa, um, he's well known in this community mm-hmm. for years and years and years. He's been doing a lot of good things. Tons. Tons of good things for the community. And he's been, actually he's a friend of mine, so I've known him for a long time through my media contacts, of course. Yeah done a lot of stuff with Mo, and um, we thought it would be great to have him on the show. So I went and saw him yesterday, very briefly, Yeah. at his restaurant, and, um, and I said to him, you know, Duff and I, we do this podcast, would you like to be on it? And he's like, all in. That is awesome. And Mo, like I said, he's a great, he's a character. And he makes a decent breakfast. He makes a decent breakfast as yeah. well. Decent food there, for sure, yeah. for years. Yeah. He's like one of the best in the city. Good and, and yeah. Good pizza. The best there is the deep fried ravioli. Could we get that for breakfast? Oh my God, probably he would do it for us. Yeah. But the unique thing about his restaurant, it's called Moe's World Famous Newport Newport Restaurant. Restaurant. Um, Home of the? Elvis Siding Siding Society. Society. Yeah. So that's the unique thing about Moe's Restaurant. Super cool. Yeah, Elvis Siding. So we'll talk to him about that. Yeah. And we'll talk to him about his uh, philanthropic? (laughs) Philanthropic? Effort efforts cool. over the years well the uh, fact that he's entertaining to have us at his restaurant alone is a yeah. philanthropic endeavor exactly on yeah 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 because he's... surely no one else would no 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 <laughs> yeah he's uh, agreed to host us at his restaurant so we'll, we'll do we'll do the podcast then from live I can't from wait. his restaurant that'll be our first we'll have... live well it won't be we'll live. live we'll do the live, podcast yeah. from the restaurant yeah. With an actual guest. Yeah, we'll have him on for the full show because yeah. he's probably got lots of talk lots about. of stories to tell us from I can't his wait. ears. And 
doing it. So it's I can't wait. He's for, a great guy. I can't wait for the bacon and eggs. Yeah, yeah. He's a great guy though. Well, now I hope you tip okay. What do you mean? Well, when we go and we eat there, you're gonna tip them well at the end. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So we get to go back another time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah. that's all. Yeah. Well, it depends on us who's serving us. If it's Mo serving us, I won't tip him. You won't tip him. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's one of his, you know, servers. Okay. Yeah, we should. You'll tip the we'll, server. We should tip the server. Okay. Of course. I was there. Interesting side story. Me and the the hiking boys. We were there about a month ago, and one of them couldn't find the place because he used to eat at the present location when it was called Donna's, Donna's Express, yeah. whereas Moe's was up on Richmond Road at yeah. Churchill, which is now the Savoy. Yes. So I think he was hanging out at the Savoy wondering where we were, and we're like, we're sitting down, we're eating, man. Like, where are you? Yeah. And then eventually he found yeah, us, like, and he comes walking in saying, oh, I thought this was Donna's Express. And it, yeah, it was. It, it was, yeah. but now it's... Moe's. Well, see, so Mo had... He yeah, had like, both, right? Yeah, he had both. Yeah. Donna is his wife. Okay. Yeah, so that, that restaurant was named after his wife. Yeah. He had the Newport up, like you said, at the corner of Richmond yes. and Churchill in Ottawa. Yeah, yeah. And it, he decided it was time for him to downsize. Good for him. So a few years ago, he shut the Newport on yeah. that location and yeah. went down to Donna's. Perfect. And basically changed it over to the Newport. So yeah. he brought all his Elvis stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, down there with it and then redid no, that, the place. That works well. So yeah, I mean he's getting he's getting older now. Yeah. I mean you know he's he looks great though. I saw him yesterday. He looks great. Yeah. So we're but thinking mid September maybe. Yeah, mid September. I told him we let him know. He, like he, this will be a really great conversation. He's a really yeah. interesting guy. So I'm really excited to, that he agreed to do it and that he'll be on with us. Okay. Yeah. Works for me, man. Yeah. So what's next? What what uh, you wanted to? Do you have anything uh, else to talk about? You wanted to mention uh, my pick your, of the week, your, your or your non-pick of the week. Here we go. Yeah. So what my, is, here it is. Duff's non-pick of the week. Oh God! So we're back in the movie theaters, of course. Mr. Yeah. Hollywood would be proud to know this. Yes, he would. And we were deciding, my wife and I, we were deciding on a few movies uh, last week. Yeah. And the one that caught both our eyes was called Reminiscence. 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 The story of a private investigator of the mind oh. and how he navigates the darkly alluring world of the past by helping his clients access lost memories. Yeah. His life is forever changed as he uncovers a violent conspiracy while trying to solve the mystery behind a missing client. Okay. Sounds interesting. Don't go. <laughs> My God. <laughs> that this, is why it's your non-pick. Why don't go? This movie, <laughs> it sucked because it has such a great draw you in concept and the trailer yeah. wasn't half bad. Like I had no reason to not think it would be awesome. Yeah. You know, Hugh Jackman too is a pretty decent Oh, actor. Hugh Jackman's a star? Yeah, he's one of the stars. Yeah, okay. So everything aligned in the direction that it'd be good. Yeah. And you get in there, and it started off okay, but it just went down from okay. Uh -huh. I was falling asleep, <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, it was a tough movie to get through. It was a bit dry. And what did your wife think? Uh, she agreed. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's still a, it's still an outing. It's still a day yeah, night. Yeah, it's yeah. still interesting. The popcorn's yeah. amazing. We had the Costco <laughs> pass, so it was Costco. fairly inexpensive. Can we say like, Costco? What's with the Costco obsession, eh? <laughs> Someone asked that question. Someone asked, asked what the Costco yeah. obsession is. It's funny how it always comes up. I right? know. It, it just comes up. The so an obsession of... But anyway, is it... Yeah. Why Costco? It's because it's good value. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, we went to a movie before that, just out of the blue, on a Tuesday, because yeah. it was cheap, and it ended up costing us probably $45. Wow. With the so-called cheap tickets, because you still then pay full price popcorn drinks. Right. With the Costco pass, it's thirty dollars oh. for two tickets, two popcorn, two drinks. Oh, you okay. can't beat it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, so that's why Costco. Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, anyway, save your time, save your money. There'll be better movies coming out, I'm sure. I do not recommend Reminiscence in any way. Okay. I wish I had the technical reasons that Mr. Hollywood might to. Yeah. to say why exactly it was bad but 
you know, it, it was boring. It was not captivating. I, <laughs> I, I, my attention span was not kept and yeah. it just did not do it for me. I yeah. thought it was one of the worst movies I've seen since, Ooh. oh my God, since Hudson Hawk. Hudson Hawk. <laughs> In oh like God. the nineties. Yeah. Like just a bad movie. Yeah. Anyways, okay. reminiscence. Do not reminiscence. see it. That's Duff's non pick of the week. Duff's non pick of the week yeah. is reminiscence. <laughs> Did not suspend disbelief. Good enough. God, no, it was yeah. not even worth talking yeah. about anymore. Okay, the only thing left on my list for you, today. You have is... another letter, though. Yeah, that's it. My, my second oh, you're question. Like, okay, your second reader or yeah, uh, yeah. listener. So uh, we talked about, yeah, the elections, yeah. our holidays. We talked about Mo, Duff's pick, listeners. Should, should we talk about the fact that we can never plan out a. Oh, Backcountry uh, camping oh, what a scenario. Great topic. You know, it's a great topic. You, me, and BJ or oh, JB. It just does well. It's it's just it's magnified in complexity because yeah. it's tough to even get the three of us here for a twenty minute coffee. Yeah. Let alone a two day two day camping adventure. But <laughs> exactly. I'm not against. Still, I even told both you guys. I still think it'd be a really fun thing to keep planning and aiming for, but. Yeah. My God, there's always something, eh? Yeah, there's. We can't plan that. We're shit. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> be so honest. I, I'm doing my best here with this one. So yeah, what is this? Is English, from where? Because clearly, is, well, you know where it's. This coming is from, from the Eastern. You know European, where it's coming from. Our Pavinsky listeners. Because yeah, clearly our English training is not uh, having its desired effect based on this yeah. question. Yeah. Okay. I think it's Hagmir Count Davila. What? Does that make any sense? What is it again? I think it's three different words. Hagmir Count Dabala. Count Dabala? In like Oradia. Oradia. Now I had to Oradia, Google Oradia. Oradia. Okay. Oradia is in Romania, Romania, very close to the border with Hungary. Oh. Now we've always said our listeners are Hungarian? mainly Hungarians yeah. on the Podinski. Yeah. But maybe it, it is filtering over into Romania as well, which is quite fascinating. That is quite fascinating. So what is uh, and what, his what or her, Count Dracula say? His or her question is simply, how are the split ETF bank stock going? What? I guess we talked about the investing from time to time. So so Count Dracula from, what is it? Or, uh, Hagmir Count Dabula. Da, sorry, Count Dabula from... <laughs> in Oradia, Romania. Oradia, Romania. I was How asking are you about the ETFs? split ETF bank stock going? Yeah. Really? That's He's a asking, good question. Really? Because eh? we had talked about... Remember how I talked oh, yeah, about I how... Why wouldn't everybody just get into these? The dividends are phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. But I thought that. a question like that might ask you something about sheep or something. Oh, you're picking a totally different topic coming from there. Yeah, gotcha. exactly. That's what I don't understand. I don't pick the questions. I just read them out. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah. The quick answer there, Hag mean, Hag mere count Dabla in Oradega. <laughs> uh, they're going well. Yeah. But the more research I do, timed especially with an expert's uh, interview I heard on BNN, the Business News Network, the other day. Ooh. Can we say BNN? <laughs> just did. It tells me that I am, it's more of an opportunity cost thing. Okay. okay. So economics one on one. Yeah. Even though something may be doing well in pile A, yeah. you may be losing because it could be doing much better in pile B. So this is what I think I knew all along, but I just couldn't bring myself to realize. Okay. Is even though the ETFs, so again, an ETF is a collection of different Canadian banks, let's say. Yeah. In a cheap, affordable stock you can buy. Yeah. And that's what I liked about it, right? Yeah. We're talking, I got three. One averages six, one averages seven, one averages eight dollars a stock. So you can buy a ton of them. Yeah. And you get nice little dividends every month. Yeah. The problem being, and now that I have data to back it up, the actual banks yeah. are clearly outperforming the ETFs in terms of their growth, right? Oh, okay. They're growing, well, we're, my God. You, yeah. you're, you're going home, oh, really? I yeah. thought you would know this. I, I didn't take know a they were, guess. Take yeah. a guess at what an average bank's growth in its stock price has been in the last year. Well, I, I have some banks. Yeah. Stock, yeah. And I know the growth has been high. Ridiculous. I didn't know they were outgrowing the ETFs. Well, they're outgrowing the ETFs substantially. Because when you think about it, like if they're all the bank yeah. stocks, you think in they the grow ETF, at the same rate. Or maybe more because you're holding. Yeah. 
five banks, let's, let's say, in right. ETF. So what they're doing, the managers of these ETFs, is they play with the returns. They take those big returns and they set the money aside to be able to pay out the high dividends. Okay. So long story short, the yeah. ETFs, I think, are still gold if you're retired. Okay. And all you want is a steady income stream. Right. Right now, me having $5,000 in ETFs, getting dividends is nice. But if that 5000 was in an actual bank stock, like CIBC or Royal Bank, yeah. it would be worth 7500 in a year. Oh, okay. They're going up 50%. Yeah. That's the issue. Wow. Well, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But the, again, the problem to me has always been it's you need to, it's like always, you need to have money to make money. And if I can buy 100 stocks of something for $10, that's a lot more appealing than only buying 10 stocks of something worth $100. Yeah, 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 for sure. But again, it's, it's still percentage-wise way better to have the bank. So I think what I'm going to do is okay. slowly get out of, I'm going to keep one of them. Yeah. Hegmere, I'll keep one, <laughs> but I'll sell two. And I'll just save a bit more money and try to buy more banks straight up. I think that's the goal. So should we uh, disclaim this for account Drabula? Yeah, you should do your thing. So we, we should say that, you know, this is just merely for entertainment purposes. Purely for entertainment purposes. <laughs> and do not take any of our Consult advice. Consult your own exactly. Romanian investment advice. That's right, yeah. I'm sure they could buy the, the, like if they have their maybe like a wealth simple account. Publicly traded, yeah. anyone anywhere. Yeah, they could yeah. buy it. Anyone so, anywhere. But please. Now, why are you promoting Wealth Simple? Well, I don't know. I just okay. <laughs> top came to mind. You're not helping us out at all. No, it just came to my. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if like Hagmir has <sighs> something like uh, similar in Romania, they yeah. could buy into the. Well, that's interesting that he was asking about that. And he's all the way in Romania. Yeah. Well, everyone wants to to save a bit and get ahead. Maybe. Well, that's it. Canadian yeah. bank stocks, man. Yeah. Now, the only thing I was going to add to that is your buddy, Justin Trudeau, uh -oh. went off on the big banks recently. Oh, I did, did hear that? that. Yes, I did. I couldn't yeah. believe it. Like, yeah, he wants to tax hell? the crap out of them. So, <laughs> so I don't know yeah. how strongly something like that will play in the markets. Yeah. But I stopped dead in my tracks. Yeah. And I'm not putting another dime in banks or bank ETFs until, until that it. plays out. Yeah. Because if, like... He wants to tax their profits. Which is what pays yeah. us as investors. Yeah. So uh, the second I heard that, I'm like, what the hell? Why are you messing with something like that? Yeah. You know, so I'm not touching that. At least, I just want to see how that plays out. Well, if he doesn't get elected, I'm just, I guess it's a moot point. Yeah, like I think... Or re-elected. If he, that's the thing, eh? So bank stocks the day before and the day after the election might swing yeah. either way based on who gets in. That'll be a very interesting thing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. So then you can play it both ways, right? You can yeah. either, if you predict a liberal win, maybe you sell everything the day before. <laughs> you predict a liberal loss, you buy, buy, buy. Yeah. And then the next day you sell it. Like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, we're not day traders, and for God's sakes, this is well, extremely for entertainment purposes yeah, now exactly. what we're talking about. Exactly. But, I mean, people do it, right? But that's but that's what he has said. He wants to tax yeah. their profits because they make billions of profits. So he figures that he can make up some of the revenue or the debt that he's bloated uh, over the last few years. At least he hasn't said the term, oh, what is it now? I can't, I'm drawing a, a blank here. Our buddy Jugmeet Singh calls the ultra rich. Oh, ultra rich. Ultra rich. Yeah, yeah the ultra yeah. rich. He's of which there's like twenty five thousand of them in Canada. Ultra rich. Yeah. I don't know. I've never, I've never had like a jealous bone against rich yeah. people. Like yeah. I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm naive. Maybe in Canada, I see the quote unquote ultra rich people as a good thing to have in our country because yeah. they perhaps employ other people yeah. or yeah. bring out everybody up somehow. Yeah. But I don't know. There's this real hate, hey, from yeah. Jugmeat for the ultra rich. Well, there was a, I know we're getting off topic, but there was a, there was this. Put uh, your warning in now. Remember when we're wrapping up, if you just want to get out early. Oh yeah. Do you have some sort of warning? That yeah, we have a warning. That the last oh, five minutes or. Yeah, we can have a warning here. Make sure you I think we should put the there. warning. About there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Warning. The next three to four minutes is a total injurious waste of your time. Warning. The next three to four minutes is a total injurious waste of your time.
uh, as I was saying, like, yeah, like, uh, there's a new, that's a, I guess a website came out, like, tax the yeah. rich or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I signed up for it just to, like, oh. well, I signed up for it to, like, heckle them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and just to see what they're, like, sending out. Oh. And I think, I think it's part of the, I might be mistaken, so don't call me, but yeah. the teacher unions yeah. are part of this group. They want to tax the ultra rich. Tax the rich. The teachers. A lot of people are, would consider teachers as part of that. <laughs> I know, but this is the, the thing yeah. is like to con be considered rich in Canada. I believe it's it's either two hundred twenty five thousand or an income of two hundred fifty thousand per year. To be considered ultra rich. Not ultra rich, but rich. Rich. In two, Canada. two what? Two fifty. Two twenty five or two fifty is the bottom that you're considered rich in Canada. You're in the top as a household or an individual. Year. So I'll tell you right uh, now, there are probably like there are double teacher families that would be pushing that if consider the rich it, for sure, especially yeah. if they're employed uh, as uh, you know in the in the school board. Let's say yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah. So the ultra rich, I think, is over. I believe it must be more than that. Then, okay. I believe the ultra rich is. <laughs> at least over five million dollars oh gosh okay yeah so five five million tw and even maybe it might even be 20 million and up okay so you're like ultra rich when you're like a, a million like a multi-millionaire or okay or a billionaire basically that's I the mean, call me skeptical too but or cynical but those people aren't exactly idiots and i mean if they sense that someone's coming after them that money gets moved maybe you know oh god yeah like they're like not if you're if you have five million sitting in canada and you know in a month that you're gonna be subjected to some other tax that money's gone oh yeah so yeah, i don't they're know. offshoring the money exactly yeah. so i don't know why we're pushing yeah those, those accounts numbers. in the caymans or something like like that. in theory give them more of a break to spend more of that money here and employ more people that yeah. might be better overall i agree with you on that but know. that's not the way a lot of people look at it well it's not the way the, the ndp looks at it no sure. they they think if we can tax the crap out of them yeah that'll make up for the in income inequality yeah I just, but there's not enough rich people in canada to make up exactly even a quarter of the debt no, that we have right now. Yeah. So, it's a bit of a pie in the sky thinking. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm not against bringing everybody up to higher levels, but I think if you can do it through, I don't know, lowering taxes rather than up upping them is probably better. Uh, I agree with you, but I don't think there's any like simple solution no, to these not. problems. Like nothing is black and white. No. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is it's like, you know, it's just random and you're going to have ultra rich people and you're going to have ultra poor people. No kidding. And I don't think you're going to change it ever. And you're just, it's just going to continue like that because you're going to have people that are born into poverty, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have people that are born into middle class. You're going to have people born into wealth. Yeah. And you're going to have people that make their own wealth yeah. and you're going to have people that don't do anything to make their own wealth. And that's just the way it is. And I don't think any legislation by government will ever solve this problem. No. In fact, I think it creates more problems. It usually does. Yeah, yeah. in my opinion. And so it's a fallacy to say we're going to tax the ultra rich to make better income inequality. No, it's not, you know, not going to get an argument from me there. Yeah, so that's just my personal opinion. I mean, we may have just lost our last five listeners. Yeah. But hey, yeah. I am listening. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, like I said, it's too complex of an issue yeah. to ever be solved, I yeah. think. It's no Afghanistan, that's for sure. No, no. Something simple that we could probably fix in an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did I go there? Oh, my Folks, God. thanks for listening. Covered a lot today. We hope you enjoyed our two summer specials. With any luck, we might get back more regular in the fall. Or maybe we'll just start calling them autumn specials too who knows, <laughs> who knows? yeah we have to discuss what, uh, yeah. but we're super excited to to maybe bring you something from moe's in a couple weeks and uh we can all look forward to that absolutely so that's cop car coffee